What's up? Welcome to my review of my new Cafe Racer drum kit by Natal. Um, so a little backstory on the drum kit. I was on Facebook with absolutely zero intentions of buying a drum kit, um, but I saw this kit posted by Drummers Only UK in Glasgow, I believe. Um, and I live in Brighton, so I was thinking no chance of uh, no chance of that. But um, it said free delivery, so I sent them a message, and they were like, "Yeah, we can deliver for Brighton for free." And I was like, "That's nuts!" So, um, and I've been looking for a drum kit with a 20-inch bass drum for quite some time because I just think 20, 12, 14 are the most versatile sizes. Uh, and then I saw the finish as well, um, and that's really what did it for me. I'd done my research on it, but um, you know, you never really know how it sounds truly until you get it. Um, and I am blown away really, it sounds absolutely nuts for the price, it's super, super impressive. Uh, I did get this one second hand, but it had only been owned for three months um, by the previous owner, and they'd barely played it, I couldn't even really see marks on the heads, um, and all the heads that are on here are, you know, how they would be if you got a drum kit new, this drum kit new, so, um, and that is a really good selling point about this kit actually. The heads that come on it are super good. So you get an EMAD, an Evans EMAD on the kick drum. Um, you get Evans G2s on the high tom and floor tom. Um, and a lot of drum kits in this price range uh, come with cheaper heads to make the drum kit cheaper, which you then have to replace. And you think you're getting a drum kit for 600 quid and then it ends up being a lot more because you have to buy new drum heads, but not with this kit. The heads sound absolutely great. I think they're a really good pairing for this kit, actually. The only thing is the EMAD doesn't really sound too different when you go to the higher tunings, because it's not really meant for jazz, but you can always change that out if you want to. Um, so yeah, in this video I'm going to take you through three tunings, high, medium and low, and I want to give you a sort of true representation of how this kit would sound if you got one today. Um, I think my notes on the kit I think it's just unbelievably versatile. Versatile is the word to describe this kit. The high tom is, for me, my favourite part about the kit. It can go so, so high and so, so low, and it sounds really good uh, in all those ranges. Um, I'm really, really impressed. Um, I would have probably put a bit more damping on the floor tom if in, you know, in a real-life situation, but um, I've left everything open, so there's uh, nothing in the bass drum, there was nothing, no moon gel, no damping on anything. So to give you a really natural representation of this kit, I recorded using the Glyn Johns technique. So one overhead mic, another condenser behind the floor tom, and a kick drum mic. I used an AKG D112 for that. Um, in this video, it's also this kit's paired with my Ludwig Superphonic from the 60s. I think it looks great with it, and it I mean it sounds great with any kit, but um, in case you're interested. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Cheers!